we do. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Portland's ultimate alternative rock band is getting inducted into the Oregon Music Hall of Fame on Saturday. The Dandy Warhols are the artists of the year. That is very cool. Courtney Taylor Taylor and Peter Holmstrom started the band in 1994. And Ken Body talked with Taylor Taylor about their unique sound and being inducted into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> How would you describe uh, the musical style of the Dandy Warhols? Uh, I try not to, really. I mean, that's sort of the job of the arts themselves. It's always a struggle. It's an age-old struggle. Um, I think I think psychedelic rock. You know, I mean, it's it's really heavily influenced by the '80s and the '60s. Kind of the best of those worlds. Um, you know, I mean, not that I don't. Love ELO and uh, ACDC, but our thing traditionally has been, you know, 60s, but we're 80s kids, and that's when we sort of started to really develop as young artists. So uh, I think I think that's probably how I would describe it. Although, you know, we always try to do something we haven't done before. Um, which is frustrating because then we are a band who's never doing something we're exceptionally good at. But at least it's, it's fun and exciting for us. So, you know, on we go. What are you most proud of as an artist uh, and a band in terms of your accomplishments uh, over the course of, of you being a band? When David Bowie emailed me and introduced himself, well, he first we met because he was standing with his band side stage when we played Glastonbury, and he was singing along to every song and pumping his fist and you know, so that whole Bowie couple of years of, um, you know, being buddies with him and and Joe Strummer and Robert Smith from The Cure. Uh, that era when we were the band that all of our heroes wanted to meet, wanted to hang out with, wanted to work in the studio with, that was probably the greatest time of my life. We'll never stop making records and we kind of do them the same way we always have. We, we always built our own studios. We've never worked in a real studio. Um, you know, except for mixing, but we record ourselves, we do it all ourselves. And then, so that hasn't changed. So we really haven't changed much. <laughs> it's like just our lives and the world around us. Day she had to fly, said she wouldn't cry. Travis cried a little, he was caught in the middle of a What is being from the Northwest, specifically from Portland, mean to you as a girl? When we first started to get successful in the big industry towns like New York, LA, London, Paris. Uh, we were told constantly by the American industry that we need to move to LA, and uh, and I I would always say you don't you don't understand. Um, we're from Portland. Everybody knows everybody, and I had some kind of gratuitous <clears throat> you know saying about that. But we we can't sell out. We can't. We're from Portland. And as long as we live there, we will never, ever be able to sell out. You know, it's one thing to be inducted into the Oregon Music Hall of Fame, but you're coming in as Artist of the Year. Does that add a little extra to it? Um, well, I'm glad I don't have to, you know, walk into that ceremony with a cane. You know, it took them long <laughs> enough. But, uh, you know, we worked a lot during COVID and we made a lot of massive pieces of work that not very many people saw. So I would think that the sheer volume of output uh, was definitely noticeable to the, to the, the guys at uh, the Music Hall of Fame. Courtney Taylor Taylor, singer, guitarist, co-founder of the Dandy Warhols Artists of the Year, congratulations on the acknowledgement this year. Thanks, man, and thanks for your time and you know, being interested and taking part in the local scene. It's really cool.
How cool is that? Mm -hmm. That is super cool. I mean, first of all, I love how he reps Portland. Oh, that's, yeah. that's very important for our, for our local arts and music communities. Also, you know you're doing something right if uh, David Bowie is singing all your songs uh, off stage. Right. So, congrats. That's so a cool, cool moment that he shared there. Taylor Taylor says the Dandy Warhols, by the way, looking forward to being back out on the road and doing all the things that rock stars do, is like uh, like getting hungover. So, it's <laughs> one of the many things that you do if you're a rock star. Uh huh. Yeah. Very very cool. It's cool to hear from them. I, I feel like uh, when they get back out on the road, that would be a fun yes, show to go to. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, the Oregon Music Hall of Fame induction ceremony happening this Saturday, October 9th at Southeast Portland's Aladdin Theater. We'll have more all week long from some of the amazing inductees being honored this year. Yes.